Kind of scale guys next is here and welcome back to destiny 2 and in today's video We're back with more content as I said that is word of the week because season of dawn is here And with it brought a bunch of new weapons and everything and the weapon We're gonna be reviewing today is going to be the steel feather repeater now This is the same 14 auto rifle you get from doing the sundial You can also get it from you basically have to go to the tangled shore obelisk There is a bounty there you can use or you can keep on doing to try get this but that costs like fractaline fragments So you're best off just going to the sundial having the link for it and just can't keep on completing that and you'll keep on getting different rolls of the weapon and with saying that because there is a bunch of different rolls you can get obviously it's random rolls so without further ado let me go in and show you the roll i've got steel feather repeater there is no strength in delicate things again this gun looks so sweet i mean oh it's so beautiful and the great news about these are look at this when you put on the color selected you know bay the best shader in the game oh it's it's just beautiful it's the the 14 weapons just have such a nice like base palette that you can just add on to but as this is 720 rpm it means it's gonna be rapid fire frame for the intrinsic deeper ammo reserve slightly faster reload when magazine is empty this only has one side so if you don't like it tough titties because they're still good at it, but the barrels we're gonna have is full bore greatly increased strength decreased stability slightly decreased handling speed or it could go for polygonal rifling, which increases my stability. For the magazine, I got high caliber rounds, which increase my range and also knocks people's aims into the air. Or it can go for light mag, which improves my reload and range. I got sideways as a trait, which sliding partially reloads the weapon's magazine and temporarily boosts handling and stability. And last but not least, we got the trait multi-kill clip. Reloading grants increased damage based on the number of rapid kills made beforehand. And we also have a range masterwork. I did masterwork at 10 because, man, I pr I think I have the max range. I'm pretty sure full bore gives you plus 15. High caliber rounds instead of, like, obviously, ricochet rounds got nerfed. And so, so high cali, I think, gives you the most range here for this weapon. Obviously, people be like, well, what about accurized rounds? Which you'll see on the screen right now, there is no accurized rounds on this weapon. There is no, like, this is the rolls you can get. So you can see, in terms of perks, this has all the new ones, of course, as well. I actually have a bunch of different roles. Like, you can see, I got Feeding Frenzy, Multi-Kill Clip. I've got Firmly Planted Osmosis, Surrounded Feeding Frenzy, Subsistence, Osmosis, Multi-Kill Clip, Subsistence, blah, 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 Swashbuckler. I've got, like, pretty much every single different combination. But in saying that, this role I have, I'm pretty sure this is max range you can get for it. I don't think there's anything else that could increase the range anymore. So without further ado, let's go into Crucible and try it out. Alrighty, so we're going to be on Bannerfall with Seal Feather. This is what it's going to look like and everything. This is the site in it, so if you don't like it, it's Nuggets because it's the only one you're going to get. And my god, there is a rev and a half of freaking Arbalist right now. I mean, that's all PvP is right now. I know Komodo and stuff, but yeah, that's all I can hear. And uh, we'll get this guy, though. We'll actually kill him. And I am weak. Oh my god, there's two people. Come on. Can you use all this stuff? Like, oh my god, we got... Oh! We hit him! Oh, we got this guy weak, too. Oh my god, we are shredding. We're shredding. Shredding. I'm out of bullets. Stop it. Oh my god, we, uh, we sort of went in. But you can see the rate of fire of this, the amount of lead it outputs is just insane. And the thing is, I do have high cali rounds on it as well. Which will, at the moment especially, it's going to help out with all this arbalist nonsense. Because obviously I'm going to be knocking their aims into Kindle Gum. So that's what I'm going for. That's why uh, when I had I had a feeding frenzy roll, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to use it. And I just got double teamed. But yeah, I do have a kill clip feeding frenzy roll, but it doesn't have uh, uh, high cali rounds. And that is a big kicker. These 720s... I mean, they're not bad without it, but when you get high caliber rounds, it just, it makes it so much better because you can just stop the nonsense of people like, like, aiming at, oh my god, this guy is stupid, <laughs> heavy ammo, but it just stops the nonsense of like, arbalists and stuff just absolutely gunning you down, it makes it so much harder to combat this weapon too, because it's just, it's just a raid of knots of bullets, absolutely destroying people and not making them aim, and there's just people everywhere with the freaking arbalist there. Just making me hide in corners. We got multi kill clip though. And the kill clip itself, it will add a bit of damage. I mean, it's not going to be anything insane on a one stack. I mean, it's like 22 ish it goes up to. And you can see, obviously, with Vengeance and stuff, it'll go up a bit more. But as I said, the role I'd be most interested in would be Swashbuckler at uh, Grave Robert. Like, if I got, if I had Swashbuckler on right now, I'd basically just have Wi Fi Swashbuckler. And I'd also have a full magazine. That's the really interesting role I would have went for. And the thing is, Swashbuckler by five. Is extra nor oh, not extra nor but it's a lot better than oh my god, there's so much people. No, why is there so much people around? But yeah, when you get a five stack of swashbuckler, it will do more damage than a one stack of kill clip. Now, kill clip obviously it rolls a bit more in terms of you can get the stack going constantly because obviously you get multi kill clip going, kill another guy, you get kill clip again. That's the good thing about it. But you can get the same sort of effect with the L swashbuckler. I mean, swashbuckler stacks on kills as well. But there we go. Uh, 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 excuse me. How does he kill me out of that? What? I have no idea what happened there, but 
The other good thing about this weapon is that it's 720 kinetic, meaning that we finally have another one that's kinetic and randomly rolls, with good rolls as well. I mean, we had the foregone conclusion was like the only one from Warmind, and that was it. I did, random rolls weren't even out back then, so this is the actual like first one we can get with random rolls, which is, I mean, that's, it's just, it, it needed to happen. I mean, there's certain archetypes that couldn't random roll and stuff, and it was just such a pain in the ass. This guy here with a sniper. How did I suppress myself? What is this? Eh, we'll get this guy though. But yeah, 720 RPM that we can actually randomly roll and stuff is pretty dang sweet. We'll get this guy. Oh, oh no! Wrong button! Wrong button! <laughs> I went and picked the heavy ammo up and I I, I hit my button to fuck take my menu out. Oh my life. There's a guy with Lord of Wolves though. Can you get him, buddy? Can we one of us get him? Thank God we got him. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, bubble! Come on, come at me! Where is he? Come on! <laughs> oh, the triple kill! Oh, no, no! Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Hey, buddy! I mean, I mean, that's a limp attempt to try. Oh, my God. I am so screwed. Okay, this guy's challenging. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, guys! Someone help! Help me! <laughs> No! How did I get away? I don't know, but we'll get this guy as well. Oh my god. Weapons of light. Oh, I forgot we had weapons of light. Um, I probably should be using that a bit more than I have been. You see, it goes up to 26 though, which is basically a double stack of multi-kill clips. So multi-kill clip will get it to higher than a one stack or five stack of uh, the old. Oh my god. No, no, no. Get him! <laughs> but as I was saying, multi-kill clip by two will be a bigger stack by one damage than a five stack of swashbuckler. It's just personal preference. Which would you rather? Getting more uh, damage just for getting kills with the weapon itself, or use a bl like a blend of a weapon of just going around meleeing things and getting basically multi kill clip by two every time you melee something. So look at this guy though. Uh, we'll actually miss a bunch of shots. I will say that if you aren't hitting headshots and stuff with this weapon, it can go somewhat bad. I mean, you'll still get kills and everything, but you'll see oh my, I didn't even kill him. But you will see that it will. Uh, You'll hit a lot of body shots, and like 11 ish damage is never going to be anything extraordinary for yourself. So, you want to be hitting those domes. And I feel like with this RPM. Oh my god, look at that shred. And I'm so screwed. Man, oh, oh. Okay, they didn't push me. Okay. Oh, this guy there. Lord was buddy. Buddy, watch out. I got your back. I got your back. Who black eyed. I saved your ass. There's another guy here. Tails the fox. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. No. And here comes a grenade in like. No! I couldn't step out! What is wrong with me? Oh, God. <laughs> the reason I didn't step out, you're probably like, why didn't you start on the other side of the wall? If I stood on the other side of the wall, I was dead anyway. That was... That was just, uh, yeah. That wasn't good. We're gonna put a bubble again in there. Spawn! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is that my bubble gone? Is that my freaking bubble gone? Screw you, buddy! I hate... Oh, my... Oh, my God! What is wrong with this game? He takes my bubble out, goes to a bee's dick of health, and then I get hit by the side of a stupid sentinel shield. Oh, this game sometimes. We're gonna pick up heavy though, just because I wanna waste it on the whoop, whoop, whoop. What the hell sort of, what the hell sort of heavy am I using? Oh my God, okay, we got we got two kills anyway. We'll get this guy, he's a lot of wolves. Uh, we'll get, oh no, I'm, I'm rushing a shotgun, which is like never a good idea, that's gonna hit him. Oh, 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 oh we got him. Guy here though, and there's the shred. Okay, this guy actually killed him. <laughs> Not me. I was gonna say, oh, I melted that guy's head off, but yeah. Wasn't me, and I think that was an enemy. Oh my god, it was. And he's one HP. But for a lot of people that love this sort of archetype, this is gonna be really good for you. I mean, it got great damage, and it's got great ammo. Like, obviously, a good magazine, 49. I don't have extended mag or anything on. It also has high caliber ends, the rolls you can get in it, especially for PvE, like this is a PvP sort of orientated roll. But yeah, PvE, I've got a lot of ton more rolls I can use as well, but the Steel Feather altogether, I feel like it's actually really good. It's a really niche, I think 720s are kind of a niche weapon. 35 kills altogether though, 2.33 efficiency. All right, all right, all right, we're going into some PvE of course. I am going to be using a different roll, this time we do have Osmosis on, meaning that this is a kinetic weapon. But long behold, if I throw my grenade, it will turn into a void until I stow it. Not until I like uh, reload or anything, until I stow. So if I go up here and uh, chuck this down, you'll see my weapon, if you look down the bottom left right now, it's a void weapon. And that is uh, one of the coolest things about this season, I think, in perks. Nightfalls are going to be so much easier now if I really want to because we're against Hive. I can go do uh, solar shields. 
which I can actually do, I'll show you right now. I know I'm going to be super energy, but if I go solar and wait till I get my grenade back, we will be a solar weapon. That is the coolest thing about this perk. Osmosis, it's real weird, like a weird perk out of nowhere because they're always like, we'll never have a primary weapon or a kinetic weapon that can actually be damage or do arc burns and stuff because it makes the game like reliant on them. But now we're going to have weapons with Osmosis. So it's going to be really interesting to see what it means to when you're doing life falls and stuff because obviously when there's burns in a solar or when there's burns in a PvE event, they're going to be the biggest thing, even like the Sundar itself. You will see though, I'm still void even though I swapped my subclass out. So what you can actually do is if you don't plan on using your secondary weapon, you can keep it going. Of course, the reload doesn't change it either. What will change it though is that if I go, whoop, and I change back, I'm back to kinetic. That's the only way to change those most of the stuff. But for PvE, this sort of weapon is going to be really sweet. I mean, it's a high RPM one. It has high caliber rounds, which can't stagger enemies. Not so much, obviously, against those, like, yellow bars and high, like, value targets and stuff. But when it comes to just, like, normal PvEing and stuff, you'll stop uh, the normal crap from just, like, staggering and everything like that. But obviously, the high RPM is always nice. Now, obviously, you're probably wondering, why aren't you going for, like, a kill clip raw? I'm just showing a casing osmosis. Because with osmosis, you can't actually get the roll, but you can see it now at your grenade. I'm now a solar, but you can't actually get any damaging perks with osmosis, so... I can't have kill clip and stuff together, which... Uh, it's a bit annoying because obviously imagine getting kill clip with an arc burn or a singe of some sort that would be <laughs> a lot of extra damage but you can't see osmosis is a really sweet perk and this is the type of weapon to roll on and honestly uh, of course it would be void now it would have to be void obviously at the end when I don't have the void one on I will say though in terms of PvE and everything it's actually pretty sweet I mean it's high RPM it's always gonna go in I think it's more I think this sort of RPM anyway is gonna be more relevant in PvE because I think in PvP, it's really niche, unless you got a swashbuckler or something going. It doesn't melt that much. I mean, it does go in a bit, but you're probably better off using sort of the higher, lower RPS to do more damage and stuff. Because bullet hoses, it means you got to be a lot more accurate for a longer amount of time. Here we go. Here's the laser. Okay, four damage from this range. Oh, my God. We'll get him, boys. Don't worry. We got him. Oh, my God. But with it, I do have a Fermi Phantom on this. That's another roll you can get as well. Look at this for recoil. I mean, look at that for- And then when we stand up, it goes around a bit. But like, look at that firmly planted with this thing. Oh, it's beautiful. It's pretty beautiful. Come on, buddy. Come here. Oh, no, no. Get me back on track, buddy. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. And the new change to it actually gives you so much more smacks. Look at his HP. It's just gone. It's deleted. Alrighty, so we're going to be on console and a hunter again on um, Ultra Flame. That's what it's called. With the Steel Feather. And this should be a bit- uh, it's going to be impossible to control. I already know now that the recoil is going to be dang near impossible for me to control. But we're going to try our hand at it anyway. It should be okay-ish. I mean, it's a bullet hose. So the thing about it is as well is that this has high caliber rounds. Which on console makes a massive difference. People, because obviously... Oh my god, that aim. But oh my god, I got a kill for that, really? But obviously, the aiming and stuff is a bit harder. But you can see, once you get the aim on them, where you start locking in on their head, their aim just goes to, like, kind of crap. Because they can't actually kill you and stuff. And you can shred. And you rob my kill. But that's why, when it comes to console, I would suggest you get a high caliber round roll. Oh, my God. What? Don't push me. Who pushed me? Freaking hell. Who was that? Ne Neo Slater or whatever your name is. Like, you just, you just got me killed. You just got me absolutely spanked. But, yeah, high caliber rounds on console is just a godsend. Especially, as well, I, you would obviously, as well, be like, should I go for uh, some more stability and everything? Because, obviously, it is kicking. I mean, it's not, it's not like it's not kicking, like you can see. There is a bit of a kick to it, but I wouldn't say stability is like the be all end all. I think with this sort of weapon, this is because they're 720s. They don't have the best in terms of, oh my God, of course I would. Okay, come, on, come on, come on, what? How was that not a headshot? But yeah, 720s, their biggest fallback, obviously, because the higher RPM is going to be the range stats. So you probably want to have the range up at the max like I do. You can see, though, when it comes to, like, more than one person, it can go fairly bad fairly quickly. I will say, though, that when it's 1v1s, I usually... It's not that I always win, but I usually come out pretty well. Like, it's not a bad weapon in 1v1 situations. Now, if I can actually get this guy... Come on, multi get go in! There we go. Look at the shred. Whew, once you get the kill clip going with this, it does actually like melt. I will still say though, I think. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> oh my god, my aim. I will say though, that swashbuckler is. would fit my playstyle more. We need to get this bullet hose going in though. The way you can play with this as well is that you can also use it as sort of a finisher weapon. I mean, if you, I don't think you can't get quick draw and stuff on it, but a lot of the people used to use like the Valakite and stuff. They used to use that as sort of. 
Like a weapon that you use? Oh my god, what is with that sort of nonsense? I don't know what he's going for. But you'd use it just like finish off people. So you get them weak and then you can go in and just shred with this. And then if you've got kill clip, of course, you can start to absolutely shred afterwards as well. We're probably in the spawn right now. Uh, yeah, we are. Hey, but no, whoa, no, no. I knew that was coming, but we still got the kill. Screw you, Doomsday. Honestly, when it comes to this sort of weapon, I will say you can't really go wrong with it. And now that is a guy with freaking heavy. He's going to come on right, I'd say. Come on, buddy. Challenge. You got heavy. What are you waiting for? Uh, he actually lost me. Uh, that was definitely just because I've got uh, right, or what's it, high Cali rounds on. That's where the high caliber rounds come in clutch. It's just for it's certain things like that. Like, I should never beat that guy. I am freaking herbalist, man. I like that's where I'm meant to be doing it, like beating him as well with high Cali. He's meant to knock his aim in the air, but of course, the aim assist on that thing is ridiculous, so it doesn't matter. But, and I am so weak. Can we get a grenade in there? Oh, he's so, oh, he's so dead. That was time to perfection. We'll get one of these guys, though, and that's a freaking herbalist. Oh my god, that thing is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why give them that gun? Why make people use that? Why give it as an exotic? I freaking hate that thing right now. Oh, get this guy though. Easy clap, easy clap. If I could aim. Oh my god, look. <laughs> yeah, when you start hitting that uh, body shots, you'll see that you're, <laughs> you don't do too well. I mean, it's like 11-ish damage per thing. And that guy's weak, but he's running away with a super. Can I get the guy behind him? Come on, please. I just want a fair fight, and you've got to just do me like that. I will say though that the steel feather is a bit more unreliable when it comes to uh, range shots and stuff like that. You'll see, even though I do have max range and everything, I am sort of somewhat struggling to get like the range kills and stuff. Just because obviously when it comes to range, well, especially on console, when it comes to range and you're obviously dealing with like obviously trying to hit headshots and stuff, and the bullet holes of this and the recoil, you do you do start to notice. Oh my god, thank god I killed him. You do start to notice that the range. Maybe isn't the most essential thing. Like, I mean, it's, I say console, you're still looking for stability. I thought that this would be the one time I was like, oh, you don't need stability that much. But you sort of do need it because otherwise it just doesn't really go that well. We'll get this guy though. We'll get him. And will we get one more for the road? Boop. Yes, we will. Buddy, take that grenade. Can we get this guy? Hey, buddy. You know what? Oh, no, no. <laughs> we traded. Oh, hunters can actually trade with a handheld now. Someone please take it up so we can get the kill. Woo. Oh, I have, oh, we're over, what, overtime, what the hell is that? How does overtime happen in Clash? I have never had that before, and I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm still alive somehow. Oh, okay, it's a draw right now. Does it go into double overtime, or do we actually tie? Does it, you can tie in Crucible? What? When did that, I've never had that in my life, but, uh, it's not bad. I feel it's okay, but, 31. I've never heard Shaq say that, but 31 opponents all together, 1.55. Well, that's it for me and the Steel Feather Repeater. Honestly, if I break it down like I usually do on PC, PvP, I thought it was really good. It's a really stable, obviously, on PC. There's no recoil or anything, so you go for this max range sort of roll, and it's more reliable. I think if I was going to go for a god roll, it would probably be, for my playstyle anyway, um, Grave Robber and Swashbuckler. I think you get more bang for your buck, especially, obviously, you get an overshield, so you can kind of just shred with no ease of getting killed quickly. When these don't have any sort of, like, damage buff and stuff like that, they sort of struggle. Because you gotta hit so many headshots to make them effective. Obviously, 19 to a dome is great, but when you're hitting bodies, it goes down to, like, 11, which is 20 shots. I know, 720 RPM. But it's still quite a lot considering there's other things with larger time or better time to kills and stuff. When it comes to PvE, this weapon is really good. I mean, you got the choice between osmosis, kill clip, swashbuckler, any of those damage increasing buffs, or the buff that changes your like your void type or your energy type, which is just insane for nightfalls and stuff. But this sort of weapon deals super well mobs. 720 RPM, a lot of bullets. If I go into PvP console though, I will say that the steel feather is a lot more reliable. I will say the high caliber rounds just goes in a lot more. Obviously, flinching people on console makes it a lot easier to kill people because they can't aim at you back. Unless they're using freaking Arbalus because apparently that thing just heat seeks to your head. And overall, I will say that this weapon, 720, we finally got a random roll, 720 bullet hose. I mean, we haven't had one since, like, foregone conclusion was, like, the last one. And that's been it since we've had 720 kinetics. So we'll finally get, like, a really good random rolled one. And try to grind yourself out. As I said, you get it from the Sundial. If you get a Grave Robber and Swashbuckler roll, like, it's going to go in. It's going to be insane PvP. So tell me if you get that, what you think of it and everything. But regardless, if you liked the video, show us a like. And if you want to see more content, subscribe and fantastic day. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one.